Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Showdown video. This was another match that I had on my stream the other day. Um, it's an OU match against someone by the name of British7065. And this is with a team that I kind of just threw together just to see how certain Pokemon would work. Not necessarily that these Pokemon like are actually good together by any means. It's just like I wanted to try out a few different movesets that I haven't used in a very long time or haven't used at all. For example, this is the first time in my life I've ever used Volcanion, um, and I've always had trouble dealing with it while playing OU before, so I figured, you know, why not give it a shot to see how I do using it. But let's just jump into it right now. I'm going to lead off with my Tauros as my opponent leads off with Scizor, and I'm thinking, all right, I have Fire Blast. This is going to do a lot, right? But unfortunately, I miss, and he goes for the knockoff of all moves, which really sucks for me because I no longer have my Life Orb, meaning I'm going to be doing less damage with all my moves now. But Volcanion comes in, obviously, to flamethrow it and resist both the Bullet Punch and the U-Turn. He just decides to Swords Dance, um, which is going to mean that he's going to probably switch out right here. I get a Flamethrower off on the Latios, good bit of damage, and then switch out into Scizor to take the Draco Meteor. Would have been able to live this one, by the way, um, because of how much damage the first one did, and I was at like 40%. So it allows me to at least just get my HP back up to full. I'm going to U-Turn right here as he brings in Garchomp, which really sucks for me because I do take a bit of Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin damage. And go into Tauros because I do pack the Ice Beam on that as he decides to go into his Keldeo right here. Now me obviously not wanting to stay in on whatever thing that's going to go for, I will resist the both the Sacred Sword and the um, Water-type move with Altaria. So I go into that. He actually stays in with Latios, which I do not know why he did that because of the fact that I obviously was going to kill it with Frustration. But I guess he just assumed that he could get a, bit a good bit of damage off, and it's going to actually come into play a little bit later, even though it's really not that detrimental to me. Um, but he decides to go into Keldeo, and I'm like, you know what, I'm especially defensive Gliscor. Let's just test its bulk. He gets a crit Icy Wind, and I still live it. So that's really awesome. And then I go on to Scizor, and I'm like, well, he's obviously going to switch right here, and I predicted the Garchomp switch because that's what he did last time. But instead, he just decides to go for Icy Wind again on a Scizor that resisted it, that took 11%. And I do not understand why he would do that. I know this Keldeo is choice now, because if he was going to go for another move, he would have done it by now. Uh, but he's going to just switch out into Heatran right here. And this is just going to give me an opportunity to at least defog to get rid of the um, hazards that he put up. Now, I see that he's faster, though, because his leftovers goes first. So I'm like, all right, Gliscor can take pretty much anything from a Heatran because I am special defensive. I can literally just sit in on this all day, so I just go for Earthquake. He actually stays in, though, and goes for the Flash Cannon, and I'm wondering, well, like, Flash Cannon isn't going to do really much more than um, the Lava Plume, so I'm not really sure why you're going for that. Um, but he gets the Special Defense drop here now, so I'm going to go for the Earthquake again. Um, it's going to get a good bit of damage off on this Keldeo, which is great for me, because now I can, you know, wear it down slowly. But this is the turn I predict him to go for the Water Move. Um, the Scald actually is obviously going to be completely nullified by my Water Absorb, and then I'm going to go for the Steam Eruption, knowing that he doesn't really have anything that resists it on this team anymore, except for Keldeo, which I could burn. So I'm going to go on to Gliscor here on the Clefable, and it looks like I just completely walled this Clefable. Um, get rid of its item right here with a knockoff. And I was saying, kind of while this battle was happening, man, I wish I had Taunt on Gliscor, because if I had Taunt on Gliscor, I could legitimately shut down every single Clefable set, ever. Um, but I pack Knockoff instead because I think it's more useful in the long run, not just versus Clefable. Um, and it will allow me to actually have some more type coverage instead of just being, you know, completely walled out by anything that is a flying type. So he's going to go for his Scizor right here, and I'm just going to sack my Tauros to give me a free switch into Volcanion. Um, he obviously can't go for the Bolt Punch because I'll quad resist it. So I'm usually able to just go for the Flamethrower right here, which is going to do a good bit of damage. And then I'm just going to go for the Steam Eruption, the more powerful of the options here to take out the Clefable. I run a very large amount of speed on this Volcanion just because it's really useful in my mind to outspeed a lot of like base 100 stuff. But I go into Scizor right here um, to take whatever hit for the Garchomp, kind of just expecting to sack it really. Um, but he decides to just Dragon Tail me out, um, which is going to give me a free opportunity to go for the Earthquake here. Unfortunately, it's really not doing any damage to the Scizor, so I'm going to actually just bring in Altaria here to sack it. Um, I thought maybe I could live the Bullet Punch because this is a physically defensive Altaria. So, you know, its bulk is pretty good, but Scizor is really powerful. Anyway, but again, it's just going to give me a free switch into Volcanion, and that's pretty much this, what this game is, you know, boiling down into, no pun intended, because I just went for Steam Eruption. But um, it's basically, I try to bring in something on Scizor, he switches out and has to take a hit with something, I try to bring in something on Scizor again, etc. 
So I'm just going to go for the Earthquake here on this Keldeo, and knowing the damage that he did before with a crit Icy Wind, I'm like, you know what, I can live this. So I'm just going to Roost here, and it looks like, honestly, I'm only at the end of the turn taking 6%, if you saw how that worked there. But this is just going to allow me to just sack my Scizor here, and I'm going to be able to bring in my Gengar. Now this whole time I was thinking this was Specs. Turns out it's not Specs, because he outsped my Gengar, so unfortunately I'm going to take some damage with him that I didn't want to take, but I get a Shadow Ball off to take this thing out. Which is really going to pretty much seal me the game at this point. Um, I'm just going to keep going for Shadow Balls here until this Gliscor decides to kill me because it'll just allow me to switch into Volcanion for free. Um, but I actually get a special defense drop here. It's really not going to matter too much because, again, I'm just going to go into Volcanion right after this as he takes down my Gengar. And knowing now, at least at this range, no matter what I go for, a Steam Eruption will kill. So I just go for it, not wanting to risk you know, the Garchomp resisting it. Um, and then I decide, you know what, I can just stay in here. Um, it looks like this is actually a Rest Talk variant, which is a kind of Garchomp I haven't used ever, but I've always wanted to use. But he doesn't get his luck there with the Rest Talk. Um, even if he got Dragon Tail or Earthquake, I would have been able to just two-hit KO with Gliscor anyway. And then when he brought in a Scizor, I would have KO'd with Earthquake too. So it really didn't matter at that point. But it was a pretty fun battle, battle overall, and I did get to use a lot of the Pokemon I really enjoy using. So that was a lot of fun. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, like I said, this battle happened on my live stream. Feel free to follow there at twitch.tv slash 3 Have a lot of fun there, and I've been getting back into it as I'm starting to, you know, build up my Pokemon videos predicting, you know, or waiting for Sun and Moon to come out. So anyways, everybody, that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.